Gas turbine engines provide power for a wide range of applications on land, sea, and air. One of the principal requirements in the maintenance of gas turbines is regular cleaning. Compressor fouling is a leading cause of performance deterioration. Contaminants not only rob power and efficiency, they also cause corrosion. The ideal compressor cleaner removes fouling and inhibits the buildup of contaminants between cleaning cycles. The ideal compressor cleaner is also easy to use with minimal impact on normal operations. The ideal compressor cleaner is RMC, the in-service compressor cleaner. RMC, a surfactant-based engine cleaner, is non-toxic, non-flammable, biodegradable, ready to use online. On 31 November to 2 December 1988, a test was conducted to exhibit the online cleaning capabilities of RMC on an operating LM2500 gas turbine engine. The test was conducted at the Naval Aviation Depot in San Diego, California, with authorization from NAVC. The fluid was tested on an engine which was removed from the USS Pegasus PHM-1. The engine had been removed because of high vibration levels. The engine was placed in the test cell, and on 31 November, a limited vibration survey was conducted. Excessive vibration was noted at idle and increased to approximately 9.8 mils at 8200 RPM. Due to this high vibration, it was decided to conduct the cleaning test at 7,000 RPM. The compressor inlet and various borescope ports throughout the compressor, combustor, and high-pressure turbine were inspected. The borescope revealed salt and dirt in the compressor and carbon deposits in the combustor and HP turbine. The injection system consisted of a tank pressurized at 70 PSI, delivering RMC through a flex hose to a manifold. A 12-nozzle manifold was installed on the FOD screen over the turbine inlet. The nozzles were situated equal distances around the circumference of the engine inlet and positioned to provide a cone-shaped spray pattern toward the center of the inlet. The engine was brought online, allowed to settle out, and baseline performance data was taken. 7,000 RPM was maintained throughout the test. The following video shows the borescope inspection highlights. During the course of this film, you will see clips from the before cleaning and after cleaning borescope inspections taken at Naval Aviation Depot, North Island. During each before segment, you will see combinations of soft deposits like grease and oil mixed with salt and very hard baked on deposits. In the inlet, you will notice corrosion of the compressor casing and some delamination of the sacrificial coating on the casing and rotor. Any engine exposed to the contaminants listed earlier will build up soft deposits, which, if not removed, will bake on over a period of time. These deposits rob the engine of power and decrease economy. Corrosion caused by salt deposits will greatly reduce engine life. Additionally, salt crystals, when combined with other contaminants, work their way into the variable guide vein bushings. There, the crystal's abrasive action wears the bushings prematurely. After cleaning, you will notice that the veins and blades are shiny and smooth. It is this smooth aerodynamic surface 
which allowed the engine to recover 3.7% efficiency by reducing fuel consumption by 64 pounds per hour and reducing T5.4, or turbine inlet temperature, by 117.7 degrees Fahrenheit, or 15.4%, after only one cleaning cycle. This film segment shows that not only have the soft deposits been removed, but the hard deposits have begun to clean away, also revealing more of the corrosion damage and the loss of sacrificial coating caused by contaminants. RMC will clean all types of contaminants, including corrosion products. These before and after clean segments of the first stage inspection port plug show the effectiveness of the RMC in removing rust. Other engine cleaners are petroleum-based, flammable, toxic, and most are corrosive, if not immediately removed by water flushing. These traits cause storage problems, risk human and environmental safety, and limit their use to cold cranking washes. Because they are solvents that merely dissolve the contaminants, they must be mixed with water so that both organic oils and carbon and inorganic salts can be dissolved. This trait, combined with flammability, prohibits their use on a running engine. The contaminants they dissolve and carry from the first stages are redeposited on later stages when the solvent and water flash off. As you see in the tenth stage, after cleaning with RMC there are no more soft deposits. Because RMC is a surfactant that chemically combines with contaminants, it is most effective when used on a running engine. Higher temperatures make chemical reactions quicker and RMC more effective. So effective that even the hard deposits are starting to dissolve and be carried away via the gas stream out the exhaust. As you enter the combustion chamber, you will see large deposits of carbon and a heavy reddish deposit left by the impurities in the turbine fuel. Until now, no cleaner has been able to clean away these deposits. Cold cranking wash doesn't have enough airflow to properly distribute solvents, and the flammable nature of solvents causes them to burn off prior to doing any cleaning to a running engine. The fuel nozzles are not coked in this engine, but they do have a coating of engine contaminants. As you view the combustor after cleaning with RMC, you will notice immediately the cleaning effect of the RMC entrained in the cooling air entering the combustor casing. Like a fire hose washing down mud, the RMC is acting to remove the carbon and fuel deposits on the combustor casing. By this point in the engine, all the cleaner has changed to a gaseous state, but the RMC is still at work. Even the fuel nozzles show improvement due to RMC cleaning. As you view the high-pressure turbine nozzles, you will see that many of the cooling air holes appear to be blocked or constricted. This results from airborne engine contamination buildup 
and failure of the existing cleaning system to remove it. Besides the obvious contamination buildup, other problems caused by this condition are early nozzle and blade failure and heavy buildup causing vibration. After cleaning, the evidence is clear. The RMC, entrained in the cooling air, has started to wash clean the HP turbine nozzles. The working temperature at this point in the engine ensures that the RMC is in a gaseous state, but is still working to remove contaminants and restore engine performance. Similar test results have been obtained with the use of RMC on APUs, industrial engines, commercial aircraft power plants, helicopter engines, and racing engines. For more information about RMC, contact your nearest ECT or Cermatec sales representative.